Hello and welcome to Bruno. Shit, we talked about him. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With, with me is Dan Fortune. What the fuck? The song literally says we don't talk about him. What's the matter? I'm with you? sorry, and Jason Amherst. Ah. No, I'm not. I, I'm, I, I'm not Jason Amherst. I'm just sorry, but Jason Amherst is also here. I realize I worded that poorly. What's the matter with Bruno? We just listen. We don't talk about. Oh, it. it was a really shitty uh, Sasha Baron Cohen movie. I mean, that is true. Yeah. I I do like that the horror came back for like. You know, a couple of minutes recently. A couple of minutes. That's it. That's all you could muster. Yeah. I'm yeah, a no, boy. No, at Jimmy the very Fallon. nice. All right, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon just kind of pulled out a uh, sports coat and fake mustache and said, uh, "Hey, uh, can you be bored out again for us?" And he's like, "Okay, yeah, I'll do it one more time." Uh, just, just throw Nick, just throw shiny nickels at my feet as I dance. Shiny nickels. Basically, yeah. Although uh, supposedly the rumor is that uh, his next big role will be in the MCU as Mephisto. Interesting. Mephist me. Yeah. What? Loading. 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 Are you enjoying the music, Jason? <laughs> are you gener are you not enjoying generic rock riff number eight? Um, that is clearly generic rock riff number twelve. I, I'm aware. Uh. Uh, I'm enjoying the Jugga Jugga Wuggas. The Jumba Chibi Jungas or whatever you call it. Jugga Jugga Wugga. Jugga Jugga Wugga. Jugga Jugga Wugga. Jugga Jugga I'm Jugga and everybody knows. Humma Dibbidi Zibbidi Dibbidi. Humma I ain't got nobody. Nobody! I'm I'm just ahead, rolling around. Anyway. Okay, back this way, I guess. Looking at the sideways. Ah! Hey. Go, go blade. Go blade. It's okay, I uh Oh Jesus You owe Jesus? Nope. I no I don't, as a matter of fact. <laughs> You're so silly. I am. I'm a silly willy. Silly willy, chilly, willy, willy. I like chili. I'm a silly willy. <clears throat> I like chili and going to Philly. I'm a silly willy. And a bar called Dilly. Those are from Dairy, Dairy Queen. I kind of want to go grab a box of Dilly bars now. <laughs> well, no one's stopping you. I mean, you're right. Nobody is stopping me. Stop shooting at me, you idiot. I can't die. Please. Stop trying to kill me.
Okay, where the fuck? Who the fuck? Why the fuck? How the fuck? Oh, okay, that was an uh, extravagantly large explosion. It's directed me there, but I can't open that door. Stupid. No, I don't do it. All right, I'm going to figure this out. Even if I have to cheat. You better fucking figure this out. Because if you embarrass me, I'm going to get Shigeru Miyamoto on the phone. Don't you dare embarrass me! There. I have figured it out. I am the Good. greatest. Goody, goody. Oh. Well, um... Guess I'll just go up there. Uh, Whoa! All right, I'm here now. Uh, guess I'll just guess I'll just jiggle my balls and then uh, yeah. I don't know what the purpose of that would serve, but all right. Please fondle my bum. Yes, thank you. Okay. Please forgive me for erect. <laughs> Very badly translated uh, recipe book. Uh, put two lumps of sugar fat in, in my bowl. <laughs> God damn. That place is getting the shit bombed out of it. So you think you got out of there? Very that good. Would been, that would have been bad. All right, I guess let's go to the next area. Okay. The next areola. The machine. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's where I came from. Yes, you know. Did you say areola? Nah, man. I said, hey, Blinken. I don't know how you got areola from hey, Blinken. Uh, I <laughs> asked him nicely, and he showed me his areola. Oh. That's how I got areola from hey, Blinken. <laughs> and then he was like, hey, there's this new play I want to check out. Okay. And I said, I don't think that's going to end too well for you, Abe. I would advise against going. You know how much Johnny hates you. He's just going to try to shoot you in the head. You know that, right? I was just about, about to say, no, what do you want to do? No, uh, no, you had to go see this play with Mary, all right? I, I, hey. Look. I'll have you know, Our American Cousin is supposed to be a really funny play. Listen, I heard it wasn't even that good. Why would you even risk death? For a fucking because, play. Because I'm not a little baby, baby bitch like you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, get assassinated. See if I care. I will. God. I'll go. It's Abe, Abe, you're so stupid you, sometimes. You're you honest, but you're stupid. Hey, at least I'm not a pussy. Like your mammy. Listen, I got shit to do. I don't want to die. I want to live my life. I want to accomplish shit. You know, you've had you had a chance to accomplish shit in your life. You're president of the United States. That's right. I haven't had a I chance am. to do shit. Well, I mean, you you started I, a very successful podcast. You uh, well, that's, you that's made very several... strange. But I, my ultimate goal, Abe, was to be president, just like you. And if anything, oh. nothing's going to stop Rutherford B. Hayes from becoming president, okay? 
<laughs> Listen, if, if James Garfield could become president. Twice. So can, twice. No, that was Grover Cleveland. Oh, that's Cleveland, yeah. Gro- I, sorry, yeah. I confuse Grover and Garfield sometimes. You know, if Miller and Fillmore could become president, Mikey, my boy, so can you. I, I'm not. My name isn't Mike. It's Rutherford B. Hayes. I, I keep telling you this. <laughs> oh, you're Rutherford B. Hayes. Yeah. Oh. I tried to stop you from going to the play, Abe, but you went no. anyway. Now I have to work harder what? and to become president because I what? don't. I I need to finish what, what you started, Abe. Well, li- li- listen, listen. I, I want I want to let you in on a little secret. What's that? Okay, so, uh, you know, in 1877, uh-huh. you are going to win the election for president by literally one vote. Well, I mean, that's that's the most anybody could ask for, really. And you are going to... Ah, what, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> That's very <laughs> telling. <laughs> um, you didn't do well, jack um, shit, Mike. Oh, damn it. I picked a terrible president. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't... there has got to be something he did. He can't have just fucked off for a millennia. He... Um... Fuck. What? Looking at the Wikipedia page? Say, no, look, that's a no that's, you're fine. You look at the Wikipedia page. I would have. I just picked his name randomly out of a hat, basically. Like, I just picked any president that occurred after Lincoln. <laughs> his happened to be the first name that popped into my head. Gotcha. But yeah, I you're I'm in the same boat with you there, buddy. I don't know shit about fuck about Rutherford B. Hayes. I think he's dying. You think what? I think Jason M is dead. But he hasn't said anything for about fifteen minutes. I'm I'm Looking something up right now and laughing oh, are, my ass are off. Are you looking at um, Rutherford B. Hayes, too? Are you looking up the many accomplishments of Chester A. Author? <laughs> nah. How why would I waste my time? Yeah, said... <laughs> I, 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 was, I was looking up memes having to do with the whole... Vatican unveiling an anime mascot thing. Is it Tiffany Star? <laughs> uh, it, it, it is a little anime character in a raincoat named Luce. Should, j- Luce. should, should have just been Tiffany Star. That should be their, the Vatican's mascot. The, the memes have been fire, and the character's already been looted. Oh my... Yeah. Like the the character the character was drawn by Italian designer Tokidoki. <laughs> Literature, Tokido- and, Literature Club. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but in in less than twenty four hours, there are already memes that are basically far too spicy. To repost I'm assu- without a sensor bar. I, I was gonna say, I'm assuming that's what you you just posted that in the chat or something. Yeah, to which I will now tag Billy to summon him. Of course. What the? Fuck? Good God! Yeah, I know, right? People, people took that cute little thing that that was clearly meant to be sold as a marketable object, and have already turned it into that. That's fucked. That's not very yeah. Christian of you. 
Yep. Then you have the other people who are taking it in the opposite direction and like turning it into a thing of comedy. Like, uh, I, I, I love this freaking <laughs> comic artist. <laughs> This, this comic artist is called Idiot of the East. Uh, and uh, they do a lot of Warhammer related jokes too. Uh, their, their, their illustration of Jesus is based off of a manga called Saint Young Men, uh, in which the reincarnation of Jesus and the reincarnation of Buddha are hip young teenagers who live together in an apartment in Tokyo. That's that's what that illustration of Jesus is based off of. <laughs> I love I love that. Um, I'd like you guys to be Luce. Come back um, to Christianity, heretics. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the memes have been hilarious. Like because the minute you post anything that's cute and anime like on the internet expected to get memed and looted on. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that kind of checks out. Yeah. I mean, the only other thing that I can expect next from the Catholic Church is like, what next? A VTuber Catholic priest? Backspace, backspace, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, next we're going to have Pope Tiffany Star. Pope Tiffany Star. I, I am Actually, going to... Actually, they have to rename the person when they make them Pope, so it would be Pope Stiffany. Goodbye. You can do this episode again. Look, you fucking oh, tell she me... She has her own Pope staff. Listen. <laughs> yes, she does. Listen, you look at me in the eye and you tell me Tiffany wouldn't fucking gladly be Pope Stiffany. She would call herself Pope Astony the third. I, I don't think so, Tim. My name's not Tim. <laughs> it's Nathaniel, and I'll thank you to get it right. You're welcome. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Maybe. Tiffany would have found Pope the Tiffany. The Catholic Church has funny. done weirder. I I think she would have found Pope Tiffany funny. Personally, the Catholic Church has done weirder in recent times. They did uh, briefly have an AI priest that you could uh, try to talk to online as well. That's uh, very strange. Yeah, it was a text to speech thing. How do you? It was. It was how do you touch very, somebody? Very how do you touch? How do you inappropriately touch an altar boy through text to speech? <laughs> See, that's another thing you wouldn't ever get with Pope Pope Stephanie. She would never touch a little altar boy. That's not her style. That would clean up the Catholic Church. I mean, clean clean it up and make it stand all, she, up on its own, throbbing and erect again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's uh, erect a cathedral. Yeah, you know, that's that's what if she I said. was to if I was to choose my pope name. It would be Pope John Paul George Ringo. <laughs> beautiful. Ugh. Beautiful. I love it. It is beautiful, you know, isn't it? It is beautiful, when, isn't it? When, 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 when I was a young boy in Catholic school, my father I actually thought took that me was to see the, the city. Name. Or took me into the city, I should say. I was going to do the joke one where he took me to see some titties, but. <laughs> Oh. 
Over bur I... overburden? Am I fighting myself? Oh, I see. When I was but a young man. When I was a young warthog. When he was a young... We got it backwards, Sonny. <laughs> Oof! Mario? Mario? Mario Mario? And Luigi Mario? Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. That's right. The Mario Brothers. I was on a night like this 30 million years ago I lit a cigarette Picked up my monkey skull to go The sun was moving by The sky was pooping out Felt a little tired So I watched Miami Vice And walked the dinosaur Walked the dinosaur Walked the dinosaur <laughs> Over the door, kick on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I've sung that karaoke a couple times. I did not realize that the last the last chorus is actually open the door, get on the floor, everybody killed the dinosaurs. That's correct. Never yep. knew that. I must not have I must not have been listening to a version of the song that kept that left that in. So I was very, very confused. To, to be fair, I do prefer the uh, the George Clinton version from, from Mario Brothers. <laughs> but that's not the original artist. Good old was, not was. Mm-hmm. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody killed the dinosaur. Uh, last time I did karaoke, it was a while ago. I thought uh, you were going to say, last time I killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> last son time of I a killed bitch. the dinosaurs, <laughs> I was working for Rita Repulsa. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it was you. <laughs> yeah. I found a secret. Oh, shit. The last time I killed a dinosaur, I was playing Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. That's fair. Elvis landed in a rocket ship. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mario. Oh, Steaming, steaming content. I'm a Wario. I'm not gonna jump in. Steven. <laughs> Ooh, now that is an old school. Yeah, that's that joke is ancient. Super, super early days. Yeah, that was an early mental cast. I believe that was an episode with you and I and uh, Taylor and da David. I think Chris McLean was also there. I, he might have been. Yeah. 
Walking the door and get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Everybody kill the dinosaur. Oh no. Why would you kill the dinosaur? They did nothing to you. That is that's uh, just so wrong. Wait, it's Luigi? only it's only double damage? That's interesting. Luigi Mario, friend to the dinosaurs. Correct. I mean yeah, he 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 really is. Yoshi. See, see, uh, that's what I was I was saying it without saying it, but you figured it out, Mike. You are so smart. It, are you patronizing me? What? Patronizing you? No, I don't do that. Are you being condescending to me? Are you being condescending to me? Are you to me? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. <laughs> okay. Are you having fun with me? <laughs> Not right now. Are you butt jizz and fucking me? Are you butt butting fucking, fucking me? Are you butt fucking mucking me? Are you butt fucking me? No, uh, I don't involve dogs in my sexual pleasure. Good, because I, I don't have a dog either. I but swear I would, to God. I'd be wondering split... where you found the dog. For a split second, I thought you said, Are you muff fucking me? I'm like, excuse me? Yep, right, <laughs> right in his pussy. Bus, bus, excuse me. Bus, excuse me. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody, fuck the dinosaur. I don't know why they would do that, but they did. Yes, mothers, listen up. If you want to see a Broadway musical where there's a dance number with the guys and assless chaps, boy, have then I you got the. You might be a redneck. <laughs> boy, do I have the musical for you. Go on down to the Lund Fontaine Theater and see Death Becomes Her. Because there's literally a dance number where guys are in assless chaps. It's true. Look it up. I was there. It is the truth. It's actual. Every, this movie's totally fucking racist. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. Oppressing black people every day. <laughs> Zippity do da, zippity do. Jesus. Todd Chrisley is totally gay. His wife and children are a cover. I mean, if you if you believe the rumors, they are totally covers. That there's a term for that. It's called a beer. A beer. That's correct. Yes. I gotta tell you, I'm very secure with my masculinity, but I'm not afraid to, to say it. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Jason Amherst, good looking man. I'd give him a big, <laughs> it's true. You'd give him my a big brand? old sloppy wet kiss, wouldn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I would. Well, what, what you wouldn't? You, you want to tell me you wouldn't look at that big, beautiful face of his and you wouldn't be like, hmm, I, I'm going to give you a smooch. Well, I mean, some of us would rather poke him in the face. You know. <laughs> you poke a guy I, in the face one time. And you're marked for your, life. <laughs> shut, God, you you poke a guy in the face once and suddenly you're a Lady Gaga song. Ha! <laughs> 
pop, 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 poke, poke his face. That's not exactly, a, but uh, all right. I'll got you know what? I'll give it to you. <laughs> can't read my, 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 my poke. Oh uh, shit! My pokey face. I'm, I'm, I'm robotic. <laughs> what? <laughs> All this time, Lady Gaga was a robot. Who knew? Um, I didn't. This one guy I know, he, Craig. He, he knew. knew it. He knew it. Yeah. Well, thanks, Craig. He did. Yeah, Craig. Why didn't you say no? Why wouldn't you? Why, Craig, why, why you wouldn't you? The, why wouldn't you? Craig why, yeah. the creek. Yeah, Craig of the Creek. Sure. That, that's son of a bitch. Yeah, everybody up, Craig Gilborn. Are you going around in circles? I might be going around in circles. So to be, to be fair, Craig of the Creek is a good cartoon. In fact, uh, one one of the creators of uh, Recess worked on it. That is true. What was, I'm thinking, what was that one where the, uh, the character was Sanjay and it was apparently a really bad cartoon? Uh, Sanjay? I don't know. Oh, here. Yeah. It, it, it was around that same era as Craig of the Creek. It might have been on Nickelodeon. If that's the case, I have no clue. Is that Sanjay and Craig? I don't know. Sanjay blows the walrus? I don't know. Uh, I mean, oh, well, actually, there, there was a... There, actually, to be fair, there was a cartoon called Sanjay and Craig. Yeah. And I actually, yeah. I think that might have been... That might be the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. But was there a difference between Sanjay and Craig and Craig of the Creek? Uh, uh, big difference. Craig of the Creek is very much similar to uh recess like you know there are different cliques of kids who are extremely like eclectic hey phil lamar was a voice on the show and so was terry cruz and so was terry cruz The Underminer. What am I fighting, Dane? Well, what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, 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 why, why, why would you say something like that? I don't know. Because it was funny. I like to make well, jokes. I like to make jokes. <laughs> jokes are funny. Yeah. E, that that's not funny. Well, that's your like, that, that's like your opinion, man. Well, you know, I I I think I'm gonna leave. That 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 hurt my feelings. Okay, well, have a great rest of your life, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Backseat gamers canceled. I hope you can live with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you, you you say horrible, you say horrible things, and then 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 then, then you want to get. But did you say horrible things too? And you just expect me to just take it. What? You, you, you say these things, and then you make me so, sad. So you're you're allowed to do it to me, but I'm not allowed to do it to you, huh? Is that how this works? No. No. <laughs> Listen, you're the one. You're the one who is getting all worked up when she gave me a moto called you with that wasn't a lifetime opportunity. You, yeah, you, I'm you, starting to think that wasn't Shigeru Miyamoto at all. I'm pretty sure it was you for doing what? a very racist caricature of Shigeru Miyamoto. <gasps> How dare you! You were going, I'm uh, in the car, Aru, and I want to put give you a million dollars, Aru. I did no such thing. Mm, why did it say I, then when my phone rang, incoming call, Dane Forgione? 
I think uh, I think Shigeru Miyamoto spoofed my number. Uh huh. Next, you'll be telling me that Santa Claus doesn't exist. I mean, he does. He lives in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Wait, New Jersey? Yeah. Why is he living in... Then what's, he, what's this whole North Pole business? That's just to throw people off the scent. Oh, okay. He actually lives in Wildwood, New Jersey. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's interesting. That's true. Sometimes at night he goes for a walk on the boardwalk. Does he go under the boardwalk? Well, no. Boardwalk. Well, no, because then he'd just be in the in a pile of sand. <laughs> See, I, as somebody who's actually been to Wildwood and walked the boardwalk down there, I can tell you that it's literally on the beach. There's nothing under it. <laughs> You're telling me there's sand on the beach? Yeah. Wow. I know this is a new development, but there, there's a sandy beach somewhere. What? <laughs> well, it's New Jersey. They're not that far away. <laughs> oh, my, yes. They had made a whole show about them. <laughs> yeah, the real housewives of New Jersey. Well, I'm t I was talking about Jersey Shore, but all right. Mm. You, say so, you say so. And yet, I'm sure there's still somebody out there who would want to fuck Snooky. Disgusting. It's it's probably me. I make bad decisions. Ew, why would you wanna why would you wanna fuck Snooky? Desperation mainly. <laughs> you can't can't lower yourself down to You see that thing you just shot? That's that's what Snooky looks like, okay? <laughs> that's fucked. Hey, she's actually lost a lot of weight. She looks Okay, now. Not, not to mention, uh, she's surprisingly athletic. You know, yeah. all things considered, that one time she was in the WWE ring. I really think. I think. I think she would actually be a rather fun lay. Personally. If you say maybe, so. Maybe definitely not ten years ago, but now, I would. Yeah, who am I kidding? I'd probably have done it ten years ago too. That's that's how desperate I am. You would, you would look like you would look at Chorus Leachman and be like, "Whoa, okay, what? <laughs> All right." Uh, the hell, who, who am I kidding? I'm the guy that watches anime, you know, and and has like waifus everywhere, you know. Like, I'm, I'm the guy with the freaking bumper sticker that says monster fucker. I can, I can attest that he does, in fact, have that bumper sticker. I saw it with my own eyes. Yo, I, I see, I see the elf girls and, and, uh, the, the other, you know, fantasy type characters and go, wood. It's true. Brick Slayer. Well, Which is why, uh, of course, my, my guilty pleasure of the year was the anime Plus Sized Elf. Don't tell me. Let me guess. It was about an elf. It was plus size. A full figured yep. elf. She, she she finds her way into the human world and discovers french fries and can't stop eating them and can't get back to her own world because the portal will not work if you're not the same weight you were when you first walked through it. Are you fucking, are you fucking with me right now? 
I kid you not, that is the MacGuffin. This has been another so, This has been another edition is of is Jace fucking with Dane anime edition. And so the the running joke is that this guy, a a a guy at a weight loss clinic who who is a a masseuse winds up just accidentally stumbling into cute monster girls who are overweight for one reason or another because that's just what happens on this show. You know, a dark elf, an ogre, an orc, a kobold, you know, a mermaid, etc. You know, it just keeps happening. Like, rinse and repeat every episode. You know, a different monster girl. That's, um... You know, I I I I don't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> hey, Dane, did you hear the about the anime of about the sentient uh, uh, sentient? Pick your words carefully, because you know half of what you say will probably be legit. I mean. There, there is an anime in which somebody was reincarnated as a sentient vending machine. Well, yeah, yeah we, I talked, knew that. we talked about that. Yeah. Did you, yeah. Dean? Did you hear the one about the sentient tennis ball? Hasn't happened yet, as far as I know. Yeah, it's called uh, tennis. But trust me, I won't be surprised Doki, if it ever Doki, happens. Ch tennis Chan no Hongo uh, Kamigami no uh, Badminton. <laughs> <laughs> See the the fucked up thing is that sound that kind of sounds like what it would be called. Yeah. Uh, kuchi kuchi no gidoro gagurzuru uh, badminton. I mean, like, there, there are so many freaking I've been reincarnated as a blank type shows uh, that at this point, I don't put it past Japan for any of anything. Like, you know, there was, uh, so I'm a spider, so what? Okay. Uh -huh. or, or another one, like, reincarnated as a slime. As a sign? Yeah. Slime. Oh, a slime. slime. I thought you, uh, yeah, I also yeah, thought you said sign. And I was about to say, I'm guessing Asa Bass did the music. Mm. <laughs> you see, only the true connoisseurs of anime will, will watch titles such as Is It Okay to Piss on My Bunny Girl Sister's Feet? You know, for a second I thought you were actually going to say a real anime title, considering that Currently, this season on its uh, fifth season overall, uh, there is an anime. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? The answer is depends. If they're I was German. gonna say, I guess it kind of depends on the situation. Yeah, it depends on if they're German. Uh, I I mean, like, it's on its fifth season. It's somehow massively popular. I never got into it, but hey, you know, good good for the people who are fans of it. I, I guess so. I, I, I ain't gonna judge. Not my place to. You know, I mean, I, I don't I don't judge people. You know, there's, there's a reason why Mother's Basement has his special every season of, you know, dumpster animes. You know, the 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 so called good trash. You know, that is to say, so bad it's good if that is your thing that you are into. Right. Uh, I mean, you know Listen, we were going to do a show where basically Jay showed me Weird anime, just to get my reaction to it. Yeah, that is a thing you were planning on doing. 
Whatever happened yeah. to that idea? The thing is, there there are so many anime that come out nowadays that like it kind of boggles even my mind as to decide what to show Dane. Because it's just like, oh god, what could I even show him that would catch him off guard? You know. What is considered weird at this point? Because I feel like sometimes shit doesn't push boundaries hard enough. I, then again, I just kind of roll my eyes and tend to pass on a lot more shows than other people because there are a lot of cliches that I just kind of go, meh, 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 every season. Yeah. Oh boy, another isekai. Isekai is like Slice of Life, right? Still... No, Isekai is another world. In fact, it's oh. become so common that Isekai has actually wound up as a loan word in uh, the Merriam Dexter, uh, or Merriam Webster uh, dictionary. Merriam what the, what's the one... Dexter. <laughs> what's the one that is translated to Slice of Life? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the word for slice of life is off the top of my head, but slice of life is another genre that I kind of roll my eyes at frequently because it's just like, eh, it doesn't really do much for me. You know, for, for me, like, I like my actions. I like my comedies. Uh, I like my historical dramas. Um, you know, Peeing on I, I like uh, I like my sci-fis. I like my magical girls. I like, uh, you know, I like cyberpunk. You know, I, I like when genres come together in unexpected ways. But then I also do not like when shit turns out to be a plot twist into something very lame, where it's just like, Okay, we have a demon lord. He's been re, re uh, he's been reincarnated into the future. Okay, this is kind of cool. We've got like a <laughs> cyberpunk world with elves and orcs. It's very shadow run. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I like the environment. Oh, the demon lord is a live streamer. This is incredibly lame now. <laughs> into the trash bin you go. Complete with fart noise. Yeah, I know. Like, that's basically my rule of thumb when watching anime is if the first episode is a maybe, it goes into a pile of shows, like the, the list of three episodes, the, the three episode trial. The list of Amherst. <laughs> so, and and it gets the, the three episode trial. You just made the and list. And if, if within three episodes I am intrigued, I will watch the rest of the season. There's a chance that it can still slip partway through the season, and I will still drop it somewhere through the season and be like, yeah, no, the show lost its way, lost its footing. You know, and sometimes I'll pick a show back up near the end of the season once all the episodes are done, and I'll just binge it and be like, done. Okay. It was crap. One and done, it's over. <laughs> so uh, sometimes shows just kind of lose their footing, lose their momentum, and you kind of go like, oh, what's with all the flashbacks and side story? Get on with it. Yeah, you have that Monty Python moment of screaming, get on with it in your screen. So uh, you just kind of stop watching a show. And then there are other times where you just you kind of get drawn into a show because it's an interesting twist on a concept that's already existed. Uh, like, uh, I I'm just going to throw this suggestion out there. Uh, watch it any way you can. Uh, but it is on Crunchyroll. Ron Kamonohashi's Forbidden Deductions. Okay. Is it about an accountant? No. It is an interesting twist on the Sherlock Holmes format. 
Okay, I'm listening. It's As a, the plot yeah. twist it's is a, he is both a descendant of Holmes and Moriarty. Interesting. It's and about sex, Moriarty it's about a sexy Roth IRA. <laughs> Moriarty's descendants do not want him to become a proper detective and have tried to basically sabotage any chance of him being able to become a sleuth right down to some sort of weird deus ex machina thing that if he does catch a murderer he goes into a trance and can brainwash people into committing suicide Um, and he's yeah it is it is extremely convoluted and weird and and also here's a fun fact his last name Komonohashi means platypus he is Ron Platypus technically I'm I'm Ron Platypus (laughs) yeah uh, it's on its second season right now, and boy, is it a good detective drama. Sounds like it's like another friggin' weird Sherlock Holmes spinoff, The Adventures of Sh- a Young Sher- uh, Sherlock Holmes' Younger Brother, starring Gene Wilder. It, it, it is another bizarre take on Sherlock. It's just like, oh, look, it's another lanky, scruffy-looking guy who's supposed to be a Sherlock, you know, and and he solves mysteries. The corpse is just laying right there. Hey, look, he's laying down next to the corpse. Isn't that just quirky? You know, he's talking directly to the corpse. You know, like, it's just like, oh, you know, like, you you see a lot of cliches, but the characters are quite enjoyable, and it's just, again, like, the plot twist. Oh, he's a descendant of both Holmes and Moriarty. And the descendants of Moriarty do not like that one bit and want to ruin his life because of it. It's like, interesting. Okay, you have me in the door now. Okay. Plus, plus, I just like calling him Ron Platypus because platypus is fun to say. There's only yeah, one platypus. Platypus, platypus, platypus. There's only one platypus that I fuck with. That's Perry, Perry the platypus. Uh, I always think of the uh, platypus villain from uh, Secret Squirrel, from uh, Two Stupid Dogs. Two Fitzmurds. When uh, Morocco Mole was uh, going after him, he's like, "Here, yeah, platypus, platypus, platypus. Here, yeah, platypus, platypus, platypus." Doof and Schmertz pooping in a bucket. I don't know. Now, I don't know if this is breaking news. This might be very old news. But apparently, uh, Firewolf Studios has been shut down, and thus the Concord game is is no more. Uh, Moist Critical just uploaded a video about 20 minutes ago about it. Yeah, no, that, that news came out today. and uh, Jason, how did you find you know, time to upload a video uh, while you were at work and also on this show? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I, I happen to be able to do things. Now, if you excuse you know, me, I have to bend over and fart into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse balls. Excuse balls by going upstairs. Oh my god. I like this joke. What operating system does Marty Janetti use? I don't know. Windows 92. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I heard that crashes a lot, though. (laughs) <laughs> Why did the end theme of Star Trek start playing when I made that joke? <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm tired. <laughs> if you don't stop making fun of me, I'm gonna be very upset. Uh huh. And did you. And, and, uh. Where are the whores? Yes. What? And where are the whores? Uh, Where are the whores? Where are the hookers? Round back. Why? Whoops. What? I don't get it. Where the horse? Where the horse? Where the horse at? There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. What the? You guys are confusing me. Yes, and you. I can tell from your fake outrage. I don't know what I'm mean, just saying you're confusing me. Long down ding ding along along down. Long down ding ding along along. Yeah, I exploded in lots of people. Kiki, do you love me? Kiki, do you love me? I'm going to do this trend where I let the car drive itself while it films me walking down the sidewalk. It's really dangerous. Shush. Shush. Also, Drake is a problematic person. Anyway. It's true. I gotta go this way, and then I gotta go that way, and then I gotta go here. We were going this way, this way, that. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane hey. Jon and Jason hey. Amherst, I'm Mike Riley. saying Show him. No. Sweet and sour sauce. All over my pussy. Good night. Are we driving around? <laughs>